Welcome to a video where I showcase 5 things that you may or may not know. Some of these facts may be in plain sight to some, but for others, this may be the very first time that you hear about them. Let's get started. Starting things off relatively simple, did you know? According to a discovery by Mr. JT, whilst it is well known that Armor Chomper, that both his rate of fire and damage per chomp were nerfed back within 2016. However, according to his findings, apparently, these nerfs were never applied to the AI Armor Chompers within private play. This is yet again an oversight on PopCap's behalf, though the health nerf that Armor Chomper received was correctly applied to the AI, it's just the rate of fire and damage that are different, and thus the AI version of Armor Chomper are a lot stronger than the version you get to play as, all because of an oversight on PopCap's behalf. Secondly, did you also know? According to a discovery by Sylvia YSI in Garden Warfare 1, specifically the character select screen from the main menu. When checking through both the plant and zombie factions character selection screen, nothing seems amiss from first glance. However, if we are to take a closer look, specifically at the top of the screen, when we go from the plant side to the zombies, we can notice that the background is not properly aligned at all and is off by several pixels. This becomes painfully obvious when swapping back and forth between the plant and zombie backgrounds. And now, you too shall notice this imperfection within the game. Because once again, PopCap are such talented developers when it comes to making their games. Heading back to Garden Warfare 2, did you know? As pointed out by Battle Cats Clips, on low gravity maps there is a trick you can do as an imp that allows you to keep the low gravity effect even when in normal gravity zones. The trick is to deploy your Z-Mech when outside in low gravity and then when you walk inside, eject from the mech and for as long as you do not go back outside, you will keep the low gravity effects for the imp. Whilst this can be useful, it is situational, given that it only applies applies to lunar landing and certain parts of moon base Z, so it won't come into play on maps that do not have low gravity on them. Jumping over to BFM, did you know? Certain upgrades have unintended side effects due to the way that they were coded into the game 2 in particular, are drop in the bucket and juiced. Drop in the bucket, alongside increasing the respawn bucket's health to 125, also adds collision to the bucket, whereas normally the bucket does not have collision, so it can be used as a stepping stone to access certain areas. Juiced normally doesn't have any abnormalities from first glance, and doesn't have any quirks, that is, until you pair it with pulp powered. Because of how the game was coded, pulp powered does not work at all with juiced. What makes this strange however, was that in previous versions of the game, these two actually used to work together to create a fairly devastating combination. So likely, when they were doing one of the patches for the game during its development, the coding was not properly implemented, and as a result, to two no longer cooperate or work with each other. Speaking of upgrades, for our last fact, did you know? There are actually two upgrades within the game that affect not only enemies, but also affect teammates as well. The first and lesser of these upgrades is Track Star for the 80s action hero. Simply put, when using the Dynamite Dodge ability, it normally does a check to apply 3 tags to enemies within a certain radius of 80s. However, this check is also performed on enemies as well for some reason, allowing them to be tagged. This does mean that rockets can fire at your allies, though they will just pass right through them, though they will get the targeting reticle on their back when you activate the ability. The other, more prominent of the two, is the uppercut upgrade for Nightcap, where its knockback is also applied to teammates, and because the knockback is actually quite the fair amount, it can be used in sabotaging or even trolling your teammates by knocking them into dangerous areas. Happy trolling!